Hey guys, welcome back to Neil's Garage. And today we're gonna to be working on this 2006 Ford Mustang. Front suspension is crazy clunking and tie rods are worn out too. So there are a few parts I gotta install in this car. That's what we will be doing today. So it should be so much fun. At least it's not raining as of right now. So that's good. So let's get to it. So I got all these parts to install. Moog tie rods, sway bar bushings and links and all that. So I'm gonna install that onto this machine. And then I have the hood opened up because I got to check some things on it. And um, yeah, let's get to it. It should be so much fun. This is the tie rod in the tie rod removal tool. So I'll be changing the inner tie rods as well just while I'm at it. Change everything at once. So here's the initial look. What we have here is the other tie rod boot. It's torn. It needs to be changed. It's also got play, but we're also gonna change the inner tie rod. Now the ball joints are okay, but this controller and bushing right here is, is getting worn a little bit. It's uh, it's torn slightly. So, but today we're gonna focus on sway bar links, bushings. Okay, we have to change those and tie rods. Luckily, not much rust in Midwest. Everything moves easy. All right. Uh, I'm still working on this guy. I'm finish this. Now we're taking off these ones. Sway of bushings. So I'm just doing side one side at a time. So the bracket. And there's our guy right here. Swaber bushing. I'm gonna change this. So it's funny that the replacement bushing has an opening. This one does not have an opening. This is, looks like a factory one does not have an opening so I have to either slide it off of the sway bar or cut it interesting there's this one sway bar link and they're getting really kind of tired too they were making some clunking noises got some silicone paste on the surface here all the way around for new bushings. These are the new bushings, Moog brand. So I'm gonna install these bad boys. As you can see, these ones have an opening, so that's nice. The new swiver link is about to go on. So what's really strange with these sway bar bushings, it's brand new. I mean, it's for this car and I double checked it is like, there's an opening, but it seems like it's a little bit too small for this sway bar, but it's all tightened up right now. There's still like quite a bit of a gap. I mean, there's no play or anything. So, I mean, definitely gonna go on a test drive, make sure she's good and quiet. But yeah, I just don't really like that. That's weird. But I mean, if it's not clunking, then it's gonna be fine. For now, that's my main thing is that it's not clunking. Yeah, it really sucks. I mean, it's a Moog brand. And this one is factory. It started cracking right there, but I'm probably gonna just keep it on here just in case I need to put this back on or something, you know? But we'll see how that goes. This one's nice, came with Zerk fittings. About to install this back. A little bit of big uh, bright bar action and we got the sway bar link seated now. I just have to tighten these, added some copper paste to those threads as well. And then at the end, we're gonna grease those uh, bad boys up. Yeah, and like I said, I'm gonna keep these bushings here installed uh, in the meantime. Uh, if everything's good with suspension, no more noises, then I'll cut them off. But I just wanna be sure. All 
All right, swivel link is installed now. I'm gonna add grease to the inside. And right before, you're gonna see the boot starting to expand. Okay, that's it, I think. Let's see. I think I already added a bunch. Yeah, that's it. Boot is like expanding already too much. That's good. So for this one, I had to actually turn the wheel. Now I'm gonna pump. That's done. Moving on to tie rods now. Let's see. 18 again. Original boot from 2006. We're gonna use that and now we're gonna take this guy out. There's some rust right there. All right, now using this tool, I loosened the inner tie rod. Big crazy tool. See which brand this is. Oh yeah, that's original Ford. Wow. Uh, time to change everything here. Installing a new one. Ghoster, Ghoster, you gonna help me? Yeah. Cutie. install these tie rods and stuff and then do the alignment on it okay got this installed inner tie rod outer tie rod all the the boots and everything are back i'm gonna leave this nut loose because i'll have to adjust the alignment uh this is all greased up as well okay it's all nice good to go amazing now i'm gonna jump to the other side so this side is pretty bad how bad this tie rod is and uh, swiper links are so so but i'll still be changing them that one is gonna need changing soon too yeah that's okay most of the stuff on this car is actually original from 2006 never been changed Right, brand new one going in. Wow, brand new parts. Isn't it amazing? Everything is reinstalled there, clamps and all that. Now I'm gonna start installing the tie rod. Okay, now we have new sway bar uh, link and I already uh, looped them up and put grease inside. And tie rods are done. Good to go. Okay. I installed this bad boy. All right, let's look at this. Sway bar links, bushings. And like I said, I'm gonna keep these ones for now in here in case those ones are still making a noise or some stuff like that. So, but I think they will be just perfect. And in that case, I'll just cut these off. These are factory. And here's brand new outer tie rod, inner tie rod. And I'm about to, you know, adjust the alignment on this thing. 